listening to Footscray Live. Welcome everyone, broadcasting live from Footscray City College. You're listening to Footscray Live. My name is Santi and with me I have Archie G, Sean and Carter. With us today is local artist Claire Steele. Hi Claire, welcome to the show. Hey guys, how are we doing today? Pretty good, how are yeah. you? Yeah, I'm doing really well. Nice and sunny day out there. Yeah, all right. Um, tell us a little about yourself and what you do. So I am a photographer. Um, I mainly work in the kind of art documentary world. Um, so I like to pick a topic that I can relate to or I find really interesting. I research that and then I make a body of work about it. What um, topic are you working on? recently? So I just um, opened a show at Trocadero Art Space in Footscray and it's called Beneath and it's about this kind of um, feelings of like restlessness and unease within this kind of Australian context we live in and the fact that we live in a society that doesn't acknowledge a lot of the injustices in our past and that um, people like myself um, still benefit from that um, and we need to address those kind of issues. Hey, um, Archie here. Do you reckon the reason you put on this exhibition is so to raise awareness about trying to fix these problems? Yeah, and I think art is a good way to um, start a conversation. And I think that's it's happening, but it's not happening enough. We need to kind of bring it into the everyday. And, yeah, to get people to see and think, oh, maybe, maybe this relates to me, but may, maybe those kind of pictures represent something that I feel as well. Yeah. Um, how long is the exhibition going to be? It's up till the 21st of December. Um, and I have an artist talk actually next Saturday. So if people want to come on, come along, I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, nice. Um, yeah. Um, how did you get upon the opportunity of showing your work there? Um, so I actually had another opening earlier this year at Black Cat Gallery in Fitzroy, or Collingwood. And that body of work was from a residency I did in Spain last year, which kind of focused on these feelings of when you're away and you kind of get this a bit of a homesickness or you kind of see um, your home in these very like unfamiliar foreign places. And um, from that, the people at Trocadero saw that and they were like, oh, we have a space open. Do you want to show here? And yeah. I was like, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, so you said you went to Spain. Um, how was that for like artistic, like um, inspiration and stuff? I think it was amazing. Um, you guys can probably understand being at school, yeah. being surrounded by your friends and being surrounded by really creative ideas all the time from different standpoints is amazing. So I met all these amazing artists from all over the world, um, South America, America, uh, Italy, Bosnia, like all these random places. And they, their views on life were amazing and their views on their art and their views on other people's art. And I think that was just so inspirational um, to meet and have those kind of conversations all the, all the time. Um, do you regularly travel overseas to get ideas for your art? Um, I think I was, I, I've been out of uni for about five years now and um, I have been overseas like every year since, oh. which has been amazing. Um, and yeah, I think my mum's from Ireland, so I love going there and um, getting to know her heritage and that side of my family and getting inspiration from foreign places because I feel like you do when you're in something completely new it is really inspiring and really different but I think from all those years of doing that I've come back and I wanted to make a body of work like this yeah yeah so this is Carter here how can students get involved in Beneath um they can come see the body of work um and you know have a good conversation with their mates if they're there together and, you know, kind of see what they feel from it and maybe if they disagree, like have a good conversation about that. I think that's always amazing. Um, so, yeah, it's opened 12 to 5, Wednesday to Saturday. You can come to the artist talk um, or, you know, like if you can, you know, you hit up an artist and you're like, what, what, what made you make this? Like this kind of stuff. Yeah, I think yeah. it's really interesting to just have conversations about art. Yeah. Um, so you have your work beneath showing. Um, could you tell us a little about um, WLM 
and your collaboration with Lucy McGow. So um, Lucy and I went to uni together and um, the WLM stands for the Women's Liberation Movement from the 1970s and that has like a – it's a huge thing. It's going to be a very ongoing long body of work but basically we meet with women from the liberation movement in the 70s and hear just their amazing stories about their activism and their protesting and their community groups and we t take portraits of them and we um, archive their material that they have. They have heaps of like little posters and stuff. It's yeah it's amazing. So um, you say you shoot portraits on um what type of photography do you shoot, digital or film? I do both, um, but I do love taking portraits on like medium format cameras. They're just really gorgeous how the portraits come out and they're kind of interesting. Instead of shoving this massive like digital camera in front of someone's face, having this like old camera just sitting there is really, really nice. Like, and people kind of understand that more they've seen that more in like movies and in social contexts and it's a bit um less intimidating so yeah. you can get a kind of like ch more relaxed subject yeah um so talking about film photography um we're talking when we we're talking before um you said you worked at hillvale yeah in Brunswick. I, work, I work at hillvale What's that photo like? lab it's great yeah. it's um it's really lovely i've only worked there since march this year and it's run by photographers for photographers so it's like everyone's always everyone I work with is always like out doing different shoots for things and um, having shows and it's just really inspirational and it's really amazing to talk to some of the customers and see what they've been up to and um, what they get inspired by. It's Yeah, it's awesome. Has your passion always been photography? Um, I, I don't think so, no. Um, I think in year nine, about how old you guys are, I did a photography class at school and at that time we still had dark rooms, which was amazing. And I think I just fell in love with the process of it, the slowness, the, you know, you take a photo and then you don't might not see it till a day later. Um, and I, that class was amazing. And then I went on to do other things through school. I didn't really do photography again. And then I got to the end of school, finished VCE, and I was like, kind of want to go to uni. What do I like? And I was like, the only thing I ever really liked doing at school, like I loved history and bio and a couple of other things, but I was like, I only like kind of the knowledge of that. I loved doing photography. And then I went to uni and uni was amazing. I had amazing teachers, made a really wonderful cohort of other photographers doing that course that I'm still friends with now and we get so much like inspiration from each other just having those conversations and I think yeah that's why I got into it. Yeah um what artists influenced you when you were younger and what art artists influence you now like photographers too? Yeah um I guess when I was younger I I wouldn't even know but I remember I went to my my great aunt lives in New York and when I was 15 I went to there I went there with my uncle and we just went to all these galleries and I just thought that was amazing so like the people were like Olive Cotton um Trent Park maybe back then um also yeah there's like the, uh Cartier Bresson, like all the old ones. But now I think it's like much more contemporary documentary kind of art photographers like Katrin Koning, Hoda Staff, um, Dragona Drosik. Um, I don't know whether I pronounced that properly. Um, and Alex Sof. And yeah, like those amazing people that they take photos of many different things and then tie it together in a beautiful body of work. And yeah, it creates like feeling. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you said you went to New York when you were 15 mm. and you went to Spain recently. Um, mm -hmm. Do you like traveling a lot? I love traveling. Yeah. I love traveling. I think um, if people – I feel very privileged to have the opportunity to travel quite often. Um, but I think if you have the opportunity to travel, it just opens your mind. It opens your eyes to the world and opens your like heart to people. After you travel, you just like understand why people maybe are the way they are a bit more. <laughs> Um, do you have a place that you uh, found the most inspirational from <sighs> when you went overseas? Overseas. Um, I think Spain was amazing, just the people I met on the residency. Um, I'm a bit biased. I love Ireland because I have quite a bit of family there. I think it's 
such a small country but like going up into the mountains is something so mystical in those kind of places and you understand why they believe in fairies and all these like random different gods because you're like wow like how did this get invented like how did this come about um but yeah I think just like going to also going to galleries overseas and seeing like heaps of art I think that makes me super inspired um do you have a big project in mind that you'd like to accomplish sometime in you love? Um, I don't know. I kind of go project to project, really. Um, I think something like Beneath, something just like tackling bigger issues that I really care about, like the social injustices done towards women and Indigenous people and um, the way that our society is kind of structured, like capitalism is just rotten at its core, really. Yeah. So the way you know, it kind of beats everyone down and, you know, toxic masculinity is really bad and just all those kind of bigger issues where people are suffering and people are dying. I think making art about something like that, I wouldn't even know where to begin, <laughs> but that would be nice to do eventually. Yeah. Um, do you think Melbourne supports, supports artists and photographers? Um, yeah, I think it does. I think Australia is... It's a bit hard. Like the government just cut the arts department and merged it with rail and road. So like I think Australia is um, like doesn't really support artists, but I think artists support artists. That's yeah. what I find in Melbourne. Like everyone is always coming out to people's shows. Everyone's always like, hey, what are you doing? Up for giving feedback. Like they're really involved and there's places like Hillvale and like printers and all those kind of places that kind of band together and they're really supportive but when it comes to like economically money wise not really yeah. yeah um have you had any bad critiques and how did you handle that um yeah I think uni was a lot of really bad critiques and after uni as well I think getting them and because it's it's lovely when people are like oh yeah it works good that's nice but I love when people are like I get this out of this work or I don't understand what you're doing here because then when they say that you have to explain what you're doing and then they maybe get it or maybe they don't so then you're like oh well it's not reaching s someone on the same level as I want it to maybe I need to reassess I think that's always good. I think bad critiques like that aren't malicious are always like really, really good for moving forward in any kind of art pra practice. Um, do you think you would have gotten where you are now if you didn't go to uni? Yeah, no, I don't think so. I think I didn't – I had like no skills in photography really when I started. Um, so at uni I thought was amazing. I think we – had amazing teachers that sculpted like the way we thought about art and the world and but I think there was amazing photographers out there that never went to uni and I think for me I personally really loved it I think it really enhanced the way I go about my practice but um it's not for everyone no um do you think would you recommend other photographers go to uni or just other artists in general yeah I think it's you you find like a really good um, support base, which I think sometimes if you're just out in the industry, you don't have. Um, and I think just constantly reflecting and having deadlines, you find like outside of uni when you don't have deadlines, a body of work can go on forever. So when you have a deadline all the time and you have to keep constantly thinking about work and making new work, uh, I think it's really, it like activates your brain amazingly yeah. and um, you just have so many amazing conversations about art and just opens your brain to a lot of amazing things so yeah I would recommend it um, yeah. but yeah if it's not for everyone no you're listening to Footscray Live with our special guest local artist Claire Steele um, Claire uh, we have a lot of kids at Footscray love doing all types of art what are your advice for them to start starting a career in art just keep making making art that's um I think the biggest thing, you're, you're not an artist if you don't produce art. So I think you just like constantly keep making, keep making, keep making and you'll get somewhere. And then constantly talking about it to people, I think, um, and getting that support pace behind you, I think is a really amazing place to start. Is Beneath only located in Melbourne? Um, yeah, it's all kind of taken around Melbourne and, you know, around the Bay, like in a, like Victoria, um, but yeah, all the photos are taken in Australia. Yeah. 
Um, have you ever thought about trying like a different medium or have you ever yeah. tried to? Yeah, I, I ha- we did video it uni which I don't know I wasn't a big fan of but I think I would really love to try and get back into again and also just like um using audio and interactive stuff a bit more like playing up with this idea of not just having a photo on the wall and you know making the experience different so yeah I'd love to do something different yeah before you talked about um your mum's Irish (laughs) um does that – and you said you travelled there. Um, mm-hmm. Has that inspired, like, any um, series of work or photography? Yeah, I did a body of work. It's kind of still ongoing as well um, called Deering, which is her last name. And, yeah, that's just about the connections between her country of birth and my dad's country of birth here and that kind of interplay of um, – when your parents are from two countries and what it's like because I didn't really go to Ireland. I went when I was like a baby and but I didn't go back to I was an adult till I was like 22 and it was interesting because I'd heard so much about this country but I wasn't familiar with it at all. Um, so the photos I took there I felt very distant um, but the photos I took in Australia, part of that work I'm very close to. Um, yeah, so that's definitely ongoing but... I think it's an interesting tie because so many Australians are like one, it's, what is it, like 50% of Australians either one or both of their parents were born overseas. It's crazy. Yeah, so. Um, have you ever shown work overseas and if not, would you like to? Yeah, well, I, on the residency we had a, we had a show um, in Spain and that was amazing to hear people's feedback um, in Spanish and getting it translated. That was ama- that was very beautiful. Uh, but, yeah, I'd definitely love to have way more shows overseas and because I think Australia is this – because we're so far from everything with this little bubble of an art world and very few artists of Australia get world recognition. So I think it just need our stories need to be told in other places. Uh, how many shows have you done in total? Oh, um, I think I've done three or four solo shows, but mm. group shows I've been a part of 10, 20, I think. And then I've made photo books before and they've kind of travelled with things. So I, I wouldn't be able to tell you a proper number, but, yeah, I've been in a few. <laughs> yeah. Um, what would be the pinnacle of art for you, like your oh. favourite piece or of anything? Oh, um, I can't remember what its name is, but... Um, there's a paint. Oh, I can't even remember the painter's name. I think it's like Las Mananas. It's a, like it's a paint painting of the Spanish royal family. And I remember I saw it in Madrid, and we'd studied it at uni. And it was. I walked in. And I sat in front of it for like an hour because I was like, "This is amazing." Because um, there's so many little aspects of it. The painter's painted himself, like walking out the back. There's all these. Yeah, I just remember studying it, and I sat in front of it for ages. Um, I couldn't name uh, uh, the big ones that I would have been inspired for off the head, but like a lot of good, like big photo people I've seen their bodies of work and you're just like, wow, it's it's amazing. Do you like going to galleries a lot and um, which ones would you recommend to the audience? NGV is always fun, um, but it's obviously a big corporate kind of one. So get out to the local community arts run spaces. I think they're always, there's always some, interesting and wacky art that you may like not like or you may like but I think when you get into all these community art run spaces you're supporting them so get out to as many galleries as you like um is there any other artists you'd like to collaborate with in the future oh wow um yeah I I think like a, a lot of my my photography friends I would love to like um I think photography is a very insular solo kind of industry so it's actually really nice to do like collabor collaborations and there's one Brimbo and Shannon are like a really famous duo photography partnership and they've done amazingly well and I think that's because they've been able to bounce ideas off each other so I think I would just really love to work with some of my mates that do photography as well. Do you have any goal you want to share with us that you have for like the next couple of years or yeah. Yeah, I think every year I just kind of want to have another show just to get my work out there. But like, you know, um, being shown a, a big, bigger gallery, getting my work into something bigger, maybe not the NGV yet, but something, you know, one of the bigger galleries would be amazing. And being um, like like a Trocadero, being asked to do a body of work for somewhere, showing at CCP, I actually would love, which is the Centre of Contemporary Photography 
in Melbourne. Yeah, so yeah. that would be great. Cool. Um, that brings our show to an end. Thank you for joining us, Claire. That was local artist Claire Steele. My name is Santi, and I'd like to thank my panel, Archie G, Sean, and Carter. This has been Footscray Live. Y'all listening to Footscray Live.